Okay, hello guys. Uh, welcome back today. And um, today we have math and social studies, so we're going to begin with math as usual. On Tuesday, we discussed about organizing data, and um, I I said that you can organize data depending on uh, lots of information you can gather. It, it could be about um, you can be asked to organize data based on the size, based on the color, based on the shape, based on the flavor, based on um, maybe the season. Yeah. You, you can you can organize data depending on what instruction you're being asked to to do that with so today we're going to continue with the exercise in the book on page 104 open to page 104 you write the date on top today is um may thursday 21 2020 so you write the date on top and let's uh get to work page 104 so there you will see a, a data of different foods. You have the hamburger, you have the sausage, uh, sorry, the hot dog and the french fries. All right, and you're being asked to organize these data accordingly. So all the french fries goes to the french fries box, all the hamburgers go to the hamburger box, and all the hot dogs go to the hot dog box. But let's read instruction and, and find out what we are asked to do here. It says, the children drew their favorite fast food on the board. So that's a board where different kids, um, where different children drew their, their, their favorite fast food. So some drew sausages, some drew hamburger, and some drew french fries. So we're asked to show their preferences, color a circle for each food item that you see and cross out each picture that you have counted. So we are asked to first of all color and cross out, like we are being, um, like we've seen the example being done for us already. So this is the French fry box and you can already see that one French fry here is crossed out and it is colored here. So when you cross out a French fry, make sure you color one circle to represent the crossed out uh, French fry. The same way we're gonna do for the hamburger, when you're done with all the French fries, you go to the hamburger, and when you, you're done with all the hamburgers, you go to the, the sausages, the hot dogs. Sorry, I don't know why I keep on repeating sausages. You go to the hot dog and you do the same thing. When you cross out, make sure you represent the one you crossed out in a circle by coloring that circle so um that's it for for that page and when you're done you turn to the next page which is page 105 let's see what we're asked to do there it says help jenny sort her things into three groups write the rules color a circle for each item you see and cross out x each circle, cross out x each picture that you have counted uh, just like we did in the previous um uh, page where you have to to cross out a picture and represent it by coloring in the circle. So now you have to, you're asked to um, help Jenny sort out her toys. Let's assume that this is her playthings. Like you have the storybooks, you have the blocks, and you have the dolls. So definitely we have three different group of things all mixed up together. Now you have to sort this um, this data into three different boxes, just like you saw here. So you have to write one uh, the name. Like, I'm going to say storybooks, storybooks, dolls, and blocks. That is how I'm going to arrange my. You can mix, you can change the names the way you want to arrange yours. All right, so once you're done labeling the each uh, box, then you start counting. For example, if you're going with the dolls, so if you cross out one dolls, please make sure you represent it by coloring one circle, just like we did on the previous page. All right, and when you're done for all of that, it says down here, which thing do I have the most? So based on your data, you'll be able to find which thing Jenny has the most. Is it the, the storybooks? Is it the t dolls or the blocks? So based on the data you present here, you'll be able to answer this question. And that's it for math uh, today. And uh, when you're, once you're done, please uh, take a picture of your work and send it to me. If you still don't understand, if you need me to explain uh, more to you, send me a voice note and um, I will do that. All right, see you soon, bye.